hey people welcome back to another video how are you doing i hope you are keeping safe i hope you are all doing well i'm here at kitchener gold transit station in kitchener it's on weaver street i just missed the 8 45 a.m train that goes directly to union station and union station is a way for you to get around to downtown toronto but i missed that train so let's see another way that i can move from kitchener to toronto or to uh, union station enjoy this video the first thing i have to do is buy my tickets if you are going on the go train or the go bus you need a ticket and if you have your presto card your presto card must have the fair value of your travel i hope you understand it's not free <laughs> So I'll be going by bus and train. So I'll, I'll catch the bus first, then I'll connect on the train that takes me to Union Station. As you can see, it's displaying a train and a bus logo. Yeah. It's a self-serve ticket stand, and it's easy to navigate through it. It's easy to use. You have all the instructions display as you go through. Just follow through with the instruction. So this is what the ticket looks like, it's a paper ticket, but if you have a Presto card, you can always add um, value of your travel, like your travel fare on your Presto card. A Presto card, I think it's black, and um, some add the old one, which is green. I'll put the picture somewhere here. Yippee, and here comes the Go Bus. Yeah, as you can see, it's a double-decker bus. All Go buses and trains are double-decker. In this video as well, I'll be sharing my first impression about the Go Bus because I usually go on the because <laughs> I usually travel on Go trains. So I will give you my first impression traveling on the Go Bus today. If you are using a Presto card, you must always tap your card at the point of entry and exit. This is how you pay the complete fare. And if you are using a paper ticket when you are entering you must always show it to the driver and you must keep it till you get to your destination so now let's start the first impression about the gold bus number one is time it's arrived on time and taken off on time so it's departing on schedule that's one thing i see here even if there are no um, passengers even if it is one passenger this bus is moving as you can see and it's quite neat the interior is neat so i'm sitting on the top deck so I'm, I'm on the top deck of the bus because i want to have a good view as we travel so my kitchener people my kitchener travelers if you're traveling from kitchener to toronto and you want to go on the go bus you don't have to come to this weber station there are three bus stops where you can join the bus and I see that the buses still have this barricade that divides um, the passengers on the seats, um, something like a blockage. It was mandatory for them to have it during the COVID. So it's still here and it's not comfortable at all. I hope the management of Go Transit gets to remove this soon. It's not comfortable, not at all. So basically, this video is about traveling on the GO train and the GO bus. Yes, intra-city travel, you know. Let me, let me just say how to travel <laughs> from one city to another in Ontario. <laughs> well, since the bus is not filled, I decided to go to the back of the bus, which seems more comfortable, more leg room, and there's no barricade. <laughs> Going on a road trip in Ontario, well, I've only been on road trip in Ontario. There's really not so much to see or views. You just see beautiful landscape and that's all.
I moved to the first row on the top deck. <laughs> Well, I just want to have a view of this um, scene. Like, you know, we are now in Mississauga. I just want to have a view. We are almost getting to the um, bus terminal. There's still some construction was going on at the Bramali Go train station. It's relatively new. This station is relatively new. Um, I think it's about a year old. Yeah, so there's still some construction works going on. We are now at Bramali Go station. This is the last stop for the bus. And this is where I get to go on the train that takes me to Union Station. And I'm still using my ticket, the ticket I bought from Kitchener. So that's why you need to retain your ticket. And if you have the Presto card, tap your presto card here as well before you go on the train So now we are here at Bramley Go Station. This is where I get to transfer to the train. So it's called transfer. And I'm still using the ticket I bought from Kitchener um, to get on the train. So if you have your Presto card as well, you tap at the Bramley station before you go on the train. So it's called transfer. So I still have my ticket. I'm not paying anything more, no addition. You have to complete your travel within four hours of purchase. That's if you have a paper ticket. You have to complete your travel within four hours of the purchase of that ticket. In the description of this video, I'm going to leave a link to the video where I traveled directly from Kitchener Waterloo to Union Station. Watch that video for you to have an experience of traveling directly from Kitchener Waterloo to Union Station by train. Train. so that's the end of the 18 dollars right <laughs> yeah so now to get my way around here this is a busy train station and that's the union um person express yeah the upa express it takes you directly to the toronto person airport so if you are going to the airport by train, this is a train you would take to the airport it goes directly to the Rota Passion Airport. for coming along with me i hope you enjoyed this video that trip was about two hours yeah on the go bus and the go train in a few minutes maybe two hours 15 minutes it's beginning to be very sunny so if you are thinking of how to get to toronto from kitchener waterloo you can come on the train you can come on the train and the bus you can go on, on the bus alone whichever one is available at the time you get to weber street that's where we have the kitchener 
go station so let me quickly run to catch up on my appointment and thanks so much for coming along with me i hope you enjoyed this video if i get up to anything interesting while i'm here in toronto i'll put it up on my next video also stay tuned if there's anything interesting you'll definitely see it continue to stay safe everyone and i come again some other time let's continue to impact the world with knowledge and information bye now see you in the next one at this go transit station and i think most go transit stations they have self self ticket machine and it's so easy to buy your ticket yourself you see all the displays and the promptings on the screen just follow through it's easy to buy your tickets yourself <laughs>